Hi, just a small disclaimer before the video starts. I do not mean to be trivial or trite during these terrible times that are going on in Europe. Um, I pray every day for the people of Ukraine and for their families and for the entire world during this terrible time that we're going through. I just wanted to just do something that is a little bit normal for you and I to share together. So I hope you enjoy this video and don't take it the wrong way. Hi everyone, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and to Life with Marianne and Joe. Thanks for stopping by today to see what I'm up to. And I have to confess, I lied to you. I lied. I'm, I'm really embarrassed and I don't normally do that, but Remember, I told you that there was no way I was going to do anything whimsical or bunnies or anything like that for Easter, and I lied. Okay, so I was trying to think, what am I going to do in the living room this year? Because um, I just didn't know what to do, you know, what approach to take. You know, I'm doing a woodland theme, and you know, I've been doing a lot of lilacs and things like that. But I was going through my stuff up in the attic, and I came across a Mr. and Mrs. Bunny, and I was just kind of like, you know what? These are really, really cute, and I don't want to put them in the window because I don't want them to fade. That's my bay window, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about when I say the window. And then I opened up a bin and I found all the carrots that I made out of newspaper and I wrapped them with orange yarn and it took me forever to do that. And I was like, I'm, I, I'm not going to use these because I did a lot of work for, on these and I don't want them to be sitting in a bin another year. And then I looked over and I saw the two giant carrots with the bunnies that I have clinging to that I made out of those giant vases. And again, it took me forever to wrap that uh, orange yarn around there. So I use them. So hopefully you're going to like what I did. I'm looking at it right now. It's kind of cute. I kind of like it. And um, I hope you do too. So stay tuned to see how I did it. Okay, so here we are in the living room mantle. And you see I have those two topiaries on each side with the lights in them. And I'm not even sure if I'm leaving them yet. I have to decide because uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do my trick of putting on my uh, board on top of that mantle. All right. So there is my board. Didn't I just take that down? <laughs> I'm putting it back up again. All right. And as you can see, I cut it to the size of my mantle uh, top. And I painted it white and I have some 3M hooks on them, which I think kind of stink. Uh, and I also have some nails in here. I still have the, the wire uh, from Christmas in this, so I have to clean it up. So first thing to do is to get that board on top of the mantle. Why am I putting a board there? Well, I'm putting a board there because that I'm going to use this to anchor all my stuff so it doesn't fall on the floor. All right, so as you can see, I have the board on there, right? And I know you see this line right here, but you, you really won't see it uh, once I put the stuff on it. I was, I, then I put the mirror back on, obviously. And the next thing I did was I wasn't going to use these lamps because I, the shade was going to get in the way. So what I did was um, I put in, let me shut the uh, light so you can see it. You see, I just put this kind of bulb in here just so that it uh, it doesn't look like a regular bulb. It looks more like a candle bulb, I guess you would call it. Uh, let me see. I have to do something to those lamps because they kind of look like sticks there. I had this, um, this ivy. You can see it has like a, a brown uh, trunk on it. Um, um, I do use it a lot for fall, but I use it in the spring as well. And um, I know it doesn't look as delicate as something in the spring would look, but I think it is what I need for these two lamps. So, um, you know, if I change my mind, I'll take it off, but that's where I am right now. All right, so how cute is that? And it fit, look at that, it fit right into the mirror right there. So 
Um, I forgot I had it and I was like, hmm, what can I do? I want to do something different, but, and I've never used that here. So uh, that's why this is going to take a little whimsical turn because I like this and I thought it was appropriate for the season. And uh, what are you going to do? Whimsy. Next up is a piece of garland. Yeah, I'm going to use garland because it will anchor all my stuff in. And I didn't fluff it because we don't want to see it. All right, next in is, <clears throat> excuse me, Mrs. Bunny. And uh, she's from the Christmas tree shop. It's a couple of years ago that we got her. And on the other side is Mr. Bunny. And they are just done really, really well. And they were not expensive at all. I think they were maybe $10.99 a piece. Let's take a look at their shoes. Their bunny faces. How cute. All right, next in are these uh, antique plates from my mother-in-law. And it has the right colors that... that uh, pinkish color there, and I'm going to use two of these, one on each side of the mantle. So if you notice, I decided to put shades on those lamps. I just, I didn't like the way they looked. I had to put a wreath up on the mirror, and I'm sorry it's so dark. It's like two o'clock in the morning, and that's the way it is. It's morning now, so the light's a little bit better. Uh, you can see I made these things from the dollar store. I used a candle holder and the vase. I made one higher and one lower. And there's two on one side and two on the other. I'm going to put eggs in there. Okay, I have a multitude of eggs. None of them are really great. Uh, those are decoupaged ones. And these, I think I'm going to use these because they have the right colors. They, that pink, the purple, and that green are all the colors that are in Mr. and Mrs. Bunny. And I don't have a lot of them, but I think I should have just enough to distribute in those four canisters that I made.
All right, so let's take a look at what I did here. And you can see I used those celery colored flowers first, and then I added in some tulips that I had, some lilac and some pink tulips, as well as some cream colored roses with just a touch of pink on them. And then these, um, not irises, I forgot what these are called, right in the center. And then I added these dangling um, lilac purplish colored, I don't know what these are called either. I got them from the Dollar Tree and I really liked them. I thought those were a good bargain there for $1.25. And then um, my carrots, which are crumpled up newspaper. And then I put masking tape on them to shape them. And then I wrapped them in yarn, lots and lots and lots of yarn going round and round and round. And um, <clears throat> I also added in some of these beautiful purple flowers from the Dollar Tree as well. And you can see my eggs in the canisters that I made right there. And um, I think it's nice and full. Like, now, like I said, I did not want to go overboard. I really didn't. But, you know, once I get started, I just can't help myself. And, um, but I'm happy with it. And that's the most important thing that um, I kind of like what I did. So then down, before I show you the whole thing, down on the bottom, what I did was I just took a basket and I put a bow on it and I put some more of those celery colored flowers and some um, carrots in there as well. And then these are the two giant carrots that I made with the bunnies hugging them. These were uh, uh, giant vases. They were actually from a wedding. You know, uh, they were in the middle of the table and on the top of them was a beautiful flower arrangement. And um, we got the flower arrangement and we got the vase as well. And um, I decided to wrap it last year with the yarn and then attach one of those uh, long wormy uh, kind of uh, rabbits that we have on them. And I thought those looked nice flanking each side of the fireplace. So let me back up so you can see the whole thing. Okay, again, I'm sorry about the lighting. It is again the next evening, right? It is 8.36 right now. And it took me a long time because I had so much to do today. I was in and out. And the best part of it, guess what? I really didn't buy anything for this that I didn't already have. Well, I did buy those purple dangling uh, picks earlier in the winter when I saw them, I spotted them, so I scooped them up right away. But uh, so that was the only thing that I did purchase that I used uh, this year in this mantle. So um, here you go. I hope you like it. And um, all I have to do now is finish up in this room. I'm not going to do too much more because I think this makes a big, big statement. So like always, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave me a comment. Please give me a thumbs up. It helps get my video out to other people so they can see what I'm doing and uh, hopefully join in the fun. All right, everybody, take care and I will be seeing you really soon with another video. You be careful out there. Bye-bye.